Good evening, everyone. How is everybody doing this evening? Hello. Hello, all of our friends. Hello, hello. Jingle Pango, you're in here early tonight. Oh, Lancelot. I can't early. see the chat. Oh, do I need to turn this? Thank you. Is that better? That's better for me, too, even. Okay. Well, you just, you just say things, but you turn things. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to Board Game House, where three friends play board games on the internet for you. Uh, happy Wednesday. We made it halfway through the week. Yay! Every day we survive, we're getting closer to Gen Con. Uh, it's 7 o'clock here. Yeah, 7 p.m. Hello, everyone. Hello. Link says hello. Wild thing. Kitty stream. Uh, so we have a few things before we get started. Uh, Hi, Mom. 1 a.m. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Couple of quick announcements. Uh, one, uh, the, not this Friday, but next Friday, the Friday for, Friday before Father's Day, we're doing a special one shot <laughs> called D and Dads. I'm so excited. Where I will be taking Megan, Derek, and their two fathers through a one shot D and D adventure. Megan's dad played a long time ago. Derek's dad's never played before bef at all, so it will be very fun, very exciting. It's gonna be great. Um, I'm really excited. What else do we have going on? Sometime this month, we will be hitting our 100th stream. Uh, we may be doing some pop-up streams here shortly. I haven't, We haven't really figured out all the details yet. Um, do we want to go through all our announcements and then open the package that we've received, or? Yes. We okay. should do my announcement, and sure. then. Let Derek do his case start corner. Yes. Okay. What is your announcement? My announcement is we are at 423 oh. followers. Which means we are 27 followers away from our goal of 450 followers for the month of June. Which means we are a number away from 500. <laughs> which 27, is our we're at 77. 77 away from 500, which is our goal before Gen Con. And when we hit 500, we're going to do a giveaway. So if you're new... And you like what you're seeing? Smash that heart button. <laughs> she's very strong. She's much stronger than ever. Yeah, she's got a little bit of an attitude. Um, all right, and do you have your phone and stuff? Do you, yes. Are you ready for your? Yes. Hey, right. hey, hey. What? When the time comes for a new game to play, there's just one place to turn at the end of the day. You never know what exciting game you'll see when you tune in to Board Game House on Twitch.tv. Find a game to back so you can be its owner. It's time once again for Derek's Kickstarter Corner. I have an animated intro? <laughs> That's your surprise! What's my life? Uh, That's what we were working on last night. <laughs> so, Megan and I threw it together last night. Um... <laughs> Should we see it again? Do it again. I want to hear the whole song. All right, I'll turn it up a little more so we can hear it a little bit better. <laughs> All right. One more time, and then Derek can actually do his Kickstarter corner. Oh. When the time comes for a new game to play, there's just one place to turn at the end of the day. You never know what exciting game you'll see when you tune in to Board Game House on Twitch.tv. Find a game to back so you can be its owner. It's time once again for Derek's Kickstarter Corner. <laughs> again! <laughs> <laughs> it's on the drive. We'll unlock it so you can actually play it now. <laughs> okay, well, they are calling for one more time, so... How about this? Let him do it, and then we'll play it at the end. <laughs> okay. Raccoon Tycoon. I know that I saw a couple people say that they did go and back it. Um, this is the What's on Kickstarter right now is called the Fat Cat Expansion, and it is the first expansion for Raccoon Tycoon. You can also purchase the base game with the expansion, and... One of the big uh, Kickstarter exclusives is that you're going to get one big box so that it all goes together, um, which I think is great. That should be in every expansion Kickstarter that there is. 
Um, but definitely go check that. It's got 42 hours left, so this time Friday, it will be over. So this is your last chance for me to tell you to back the Fat Cat expansion for Raccoon Tycoon. Um, another one ending before the next time I see you is one that I've been following and I just decided that you guys will like it because Steven likes it. Um, it's called the Deluxe Jumbo Dice. It is a very large wooden D20 and it's huge. It's probably about as big as that glass full of dice there. And they have where you can actually get any different uh, dice that you want. Like, you, they have a D4, D6, D8, D10, D12, and the D20. I saw this, like, and you I can saw also this get, like last week or You so. actually get the full set, I think, too. I think this is the it's second... Very cool. I think this is the second time they've done a Kickstarter for this. I think this is the second iteration. The other one, I think, were interlocking, and these ones have a different joint to them. They're very cool. But they are very cool. It's called Deluxe, D-L-U-X. Um, I mean, it would be a nice table, like a coffee table centerpiece... You could use you could probably use it to roll with, but they're very large. Um, that has 44 hours left, so go take a look at that. The custom miniatures from Eldritch Foundry have two days left. These are it's a brand new company. Uh, there you can go to their website and get more information about their process and about their artists and everything. Um, just eldritchfoundry.com, um, and you can back the Kickstarter to get it going. Uh, the f the the first tier is one custom miniature for thirty nine dollars, uh, or you can get two for forty nine dollars. So you end up saving ten dollars if you buy two. Um, but the Kickstarter exclusive part of this is that you get a removable base for the mini that has all of the different five E conditions on it. So blindness, proneness, restrainness. You can. Restrainness? Ad adjust it on the custom base that you're going to get for backing the Kickstarter. Thank you, Billy, for the doge... Wait, are those doge bits? Yep. They are doge bits. There, There's two days left on that one, so I'll get to talk about it on Friday, but only for like a second before it's done. Um, she was watching the bits fall. Uh, the Leather D20 Dice Bag Kit is a bunch of leather triangles that you get to stitch together to get a sack for your dice. Yeah, I think it's very cool. There are four days left on that one. Uh, next is the Admo the Monster Adventure Terrain, which is basically Legos that you turn into 3D terrain. Um, I think it's very cool. It's also relatively cheap for something like this. Um, it's obviously not the quality of like Dwarven Forge stuff. It's not as themed, but it is like Lego pieces, so you can move it and make it whatever you want it to be. Um... Another something that Steven sent me earlier is called After Nova. It is a small card game um, where you're basically just... It's not cooperative. You're basically mining gems from a planet, and you have to get help from your neighbors to do it, but you're still individually trying to complete your goals and stuff. So there's a little bit of... It's suckery that could happen. It's kind of cooperation the same way that... Uh that Munchkin is. Where you need somebody to help you fight the monster and then you can decide as far as how you split the treasure. It is it is similar to that. Um, but that's called After Nova. It's a small card game. The the base the the base Kickstarter pledge is fourteen dollars and you get the game. Um, you can do I think it's twenty nine and you get After Nova and their previous Kickstarted game called uh, I can't remember what it's called. C b b b b b Crypt. Yeah, twenty nine dollars gets you After Nova and Crypt, so you could get two two games for thirty dollars uh, on this Kickstarter, which I think is pretty great. Uh, they're both card games, uh, and the one thing about this one that I think is interesting is that delivery is March of twenty twenty, so it's you're going to be waiting a while a while for this one, but it's cheap. So yeah, but did you see the characters are all like animals? Yeah, um, it's interesting. Go check it out. It's called After Nova. Um, there's a cat attacking my phone. <laughs> um, next up is not a board game. Uh, it's not a tabletop. <coughs> it's not a tabletop game at all. 
Um, this one is called Wizards and Werewolves, a glow-in-the-dark outdoor game. So basically, it's kind of like LARPing, and it's kind of like laser tag. You have one gr one half of the people that you have playing are wizards, the other half are werewolves. The wizards have a goal of finding a hidden gem, and then the werewolves have to turn the other wizards mm -hmm. before the wizards can get the gem and turn the alpha. And basically you just take it outside and you play it when it's getting dark. All the stuff lights up. You're, it's like a big old game of tag and hide and seek and everything else. Um, it looks pretty cool. Uh, and It's definitely uh, aimed to toward kids. Mm -hmm. But each of like, the wizards have... Kids? I'm getting that bringing it to Gen Con. No. <laughs> It won't be out each yet. Of the, each of the wizards have like special powers that they can do, too, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Uh, it's for four to ten players, and if it's $40 to get the game, uh, which is going to be 20% off from what it will be in stores, uh, or what you can get after it's done on Kickstarter. Um, so that is an alternative to board games. Um, that is everything that I have that's live that I thought looked interesting. Uh, the other thing I am going to mention, I'm still very excited about it, because I'm still getting emails from them that my cart is still full. Um, Brick Warriors, you get to turn Lego minis into your D&D &D minis, and you can get Minotaur heads and Dragon heads and Dwarven armor and big old hammers and all other kind of things to customize little Lego minis. And it's all cheap. Like, the Minotaur head is 20 cents. Go check it out, BrickWarriors.com. You can't buy the actual minis, so you'll have to go find the Lego minis somewhere. Either I, I know Michael sells Legos. You can probably go to... Goodness, Toys R Us isn't the thing anymore. I don't know where you buy Legos. I mean, you can buy them at any store. Walmart. But can you get... They have the sets, but can you get, like, actual... Just, just the individuals? Right. No, I don't I mean, know. I think I know you can get them directly from Lego. See, I tried to look the other day, and they only have the specialized minis that you could buy on their website. I couldn't find... Just generic? It, they might be on there, but I couldn't find, like, just a generic mini to get, so I don't know. Maybe you can get them on Amazon. Um, but the Brick Warriors, if you have extra Lego minis, then go check this out. BrickWarriors.com. It looks great. My card is still full. I'm still broke. <laughs> but... As soon as I do get money, I will be purchasing it, and they sent me a 15% off coupon because my cart, cart has been full for so long. Um, but go check it out. That's my corner. There you go. When the time comes for a new game to play, there's just one place to turn at the end of the day. You never know what exciting game you'll see when you tune in to Board Game House on Twitch.tv. Find a game to back so you can be its owner. It's time once again for Derek's Kickstarter Corner. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. So, other things. Uh, we saw this uh, yesterday in Warmwood chat that we did not know about. I guess right now, if you use the Pride, uh, if you use the Pride emote to cheer with, and it's over a certain amount. They are donating money towards uh, Trevor How Is it Trevor? The Trevor Project. The Trevor Project, which is a great, uh, which is a great organization that helps uh, youth that. Uh, what are the words I'm looking for? Pride. Yeah. June. Yes, it's Pride. So for June, not straight. Uh, it helps out the Trevor Project. <laughs> They will donate some of the. They also donate something towards your projects. So it's a great cause. I know you guys like to do Thank what Mrs. You. Valley just did, and when you do that, uh, you also then somebody in cheer, cheer will actually cheer get. Awards to three others in chat. Will give a free emote to three of the people in chat. So uh, keep an eye on the chat. It'll actually pop up and say that who gave it to you, and you can actually click a button just to thank them if you want. Uh, Neat. So yeah. So yeah, we just wanted to throw that out there just. So you guys know that it's out there. You don't have to do is it. Is that it? What is it? What? There's different ones. There's like 20 different ones that they do. Is that a man hugging a rainbow pillow? Uh, maybe. Oh, I like the little lion one. Is that a lion? Yeah. But yeah, so it, they have like 20 different emotes that they will possibly gift to somebody in the chat. So just thought you guys should know about that. 
uh, great cause, and since you guys like making the cup explode anyways, it's a win-win. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, do we get money as well as the Trevor fella? Yes. Okay, first of all, it's an organization. Hey, I got some. It is an organization. It's not just a guy named Trevor. I got um, the cutest little we still get all of our, we still lion. We still get all of our bits. Okay. Like, what it is is they just donate. Like, they donate. They don't just, totally. I just wanted to. The... I'm covering our bases. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, talking dog. Uh, Look at the cute little lion. He's got a rainbow he's mane. He's got a rainbow mane and he's celebrating. Look at him. Mm-hmm. That doesn't happen in nature. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh geez, now now people are just now now people are just going crazy with the bits. Hello, Yay. thank you, Minamami. Thank you, Talking Dog. You guys are amazing. Yeah, there's also a fish, rainbow fish. Rainbow fish? Is it a rainbow trout? <gasps> Is he missing a scale? <gasps> oh, what a great book! It's... He tries to fight that octopus, but the octopus is a good guy. I'm confused as to what you're talking about. Rainbow Fish, the book? The Rainbow Fish. Never read it. <gasps> Lastly, last thing. Wait, can we talk about our little thing real fast? Wait, you haven't read Rainbow Fish? No. He's missing. He it, had. It may have actually come out. He after gives he away. Was in elementary okay, school. There's like three books when I was in school. It was the like. The Bible. Yeah. <laughs> Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> to kill a walking bird. To kill, oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> There's a fish in the ocean, okay? And he has <laughs> rainbow scales. Rosetta Stone. And he gives, that's not a book, that's a stone. <laughs> and he gives all of his rainbow scales away until he only has one. And then he's like, damn, now everyone's sparklier than I am. And then he rolls up to this octopus in a cave, and the octopus is like, no, bro, you're special. Great book. <laughs> I second having Stephen read Rainbow Fish. Ow. Can I tag you? Yes. Okay, so I want to talk about the, the little animation that we did. Derek's Kickstarter Corner. Because I'm really proud of it. Because I learned... Stop it. You're going to electrocute yourself. I learned how to animate yesterday. And then Stephen wrote the lyrics. And then I figured out the chord progression. I had come up with a concept, kind of did like a storyboard of an idea that I had, and I wrote some lyrics, and so May and then figured out the cording, and then we spent last night animating it. Yep. We were up very late. I'm still mad that you went to bed before I was able to actually show it to you, but that was way better, having you have a reaction on stream. Um, I'll also post it in the Discord, maybe in like neighborhood jams for everyone, <laughs> so. so that way you guys can uh, yeah. enjoy it anytime you want. Because it's, it, it's, it's painfully, it is painfully uh, catchy. Well, I thought you were going to play it again. No. Like, what are you doing? There's a sequel to The Rainbow Fish. What are you doing she's, back there, Link? She's playing with this cord. There's a sequel to The Rainbow Fish? It's called Rainbow Fish to the Rescue, and there's also Dazzle the Dinosaur. Okay. Sweetie, you're being a jerk. I'm going to put you out in the hall. <gasps> G. G. Thank you. With a thousand bits. Hey, I Holy got more. crap. I got, I got, I got another emote. <laughs> Thank you, G. I didn't get any emote. I bet you did. No, I didn't. Ow, don't bite me. You would have had to have on that one. Okay. I promise you probably did. See if you got any. You're not in. Well, I got this fun balloon one this time. Thank you, Meta. All the bits. I guarantee on that last one on on G's you did. Mm. All right. Ah, Fuzzy, I got balloons too. Oh, I got one. Told you. What'd you get? I got pride gasp. No. <gasps> pride gasp. 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 Okay, so we're, you know. What? Thank you, Talking Dog. <laughs> um, Go to your emotes and then kind of scroll down. Mine are at the top. Yeah, it'll just show up as its own 
like like you have different things for different subscribers or different channels. Oh, don't worry. Hang out, Lance. I'm sure at some point you'll get one tonight, so no. don't worry too much about it. Um, all right, we have one last thing to do before we get into the game because believe it or not, we are here to play Gloomhaven. We have which, one last thing to do, which is sponsored by our friends at KickstarterGames.com. KickstarterGames.com. Not to refer to, not to be confused with Kickstarter. Kickstarted. Um, we got a package in the mail, and we were informed it was from one of you, which it says Board Game House on it, so I'm guessing it was. And we were told to open it on stream and said it was appropriate. So we were told it was appropriate. If it's not, if it's not, I blame the chat. Where do I find these emotes? Oh look, I got a lion. He's waving. You got the. He says, "Lion, hey." <laughs> What's in the box? It is. It is. It is wrapped. La lingerie. It's, wrapped. it's lingerie. <laughs> Keep your gift a surprise. Unwrap your present before opening the envelope. Okay. Wait. Does it say something? A gift for you. Does it tell? Stop. Yeah, stop it. I'm um, what it. <laughs> <laughs> it says, Dear Stephen and Megan uh, and Derek, hope this gift finds you well. Congratulations on reaching your 100th episode. Hope this gift arrives around then. Cheers to many more. Sincerely, Stephen Sworn Enemy, PSP, also known as Mrs. Valley. Awesome. Thank you so much. Lumpy Space Princess. I, every time somebody says PSP, that's what I think of. What is it? Still a surprise. Porn. Oh. Oh, that's been on the wish list for a while. This has been on my wish list for a while. Thank you, Jingo Pingo, for hosting us. And Derek puts on the bag. This is a legit bag. No, no. What if I can't breathe? It's so tight around my neck. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Valley, for those of you who didn't, couldn't see. She got us Terra Mystica. I believe you mean... Pint-sized princess. All of the above. Thank is, you so much. What is we, this? We, we, what is? It, it's kind of... Remember, it's, they're, they're, it's, it's a lot. It's 30 minutes per player. 30 minutes per player? <laughs> yeah, that's what Gloomhaven is. What in the raw hell? <laughs> that's an hour and a half. Terra Mystica is a strategy game with a simple game principle and very little luck involved. Well, I don't like that. You govern one of 14 factions trying to transform the landscape on the game board in your favor in order to build your structures. On the one hand, proximity to other players limits your options for further expansion. On the other, it provides some benefits during the game. One, this conflict is the source of Terra Mystica's appeal. Structures may be upgraded to provide even more resources like workers, priests, money, and power. Yeah. Number two, build the temples to gain more influence in the four cults of fire, water, earth, and air. Build your stronghold to activate your faction's special abilities. Expand and build new dwellings to have many workers at hand. Or make sure to have a constant flow of money by building trading houses. The 14 artfully designed factions, each having unique special abilities as well as the exchangeable bonus cards, allow for a large number of possible gameplays that constantly keep the game entertaining. This dwarf on the front is pretty smug. Yeah, okay, guys, I, I see that. Like, it looks like we dropped a few frames there in the middle. Not what? exactly sure why. Um, but I did just adjust something that should take care of that. So hopefully it will... Uh, it should be better now. All right, much better. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, so... Let's get that map out and decide where we're going. We, um, you mean the map that your cat fell off of? Yes. yes. We um, usually have this set up and the basic idea of where we're going next, but we didn't decide this time, so this is going to take us a little longer than usual. Uh, it's all right. We got time. Usual. But here is this. Okay. 
So. So where were we able to go? So we complete. So far we completed. Oh, I'm gonna switch over so yeah. you can actually see what we're looking at. And I need to adjust the brightness because that's really bright for yeah. no reason. Also, is it zoomed? It's zoomed in too. Mm -hmm. So many things. Professional streamers, guys. Professionals. No, we're not. We're only affiliated. We're not professionals till we're partnered. There we go. There we go. Now we can see. All right, so we have completed Black Barrow, Barrow Layer, and Decaying, no, and Crypt of the Damned. Correct. So we were deciding if we, we wanted really to. We really need to uh, get a better marker for we these. We need to get a marker for these. So, well, we haven't marked any of them yet. Um. So we have a choice of either the decaying, the decaying crypt. crypt, which is to try to clear out some more dead things. Yeah. We have the... the ruinous Crypt. The Ruinous Crypt. Oh, wait. Actually, no. Yes, it was these two. I know. I'm trying to think of which one that was. Uh, the which decay, one was which? The Decaying Crypt would be us going and getting rid of... Hold on. What was the last one we did? Number four? Number four. The Decaying Crypt is the one that we would end up helping the people that are... Nope. Not going to do that. And then this one will be clearing out more of the people that we already fought. Uh, oh, fuzzy. I accept. Is it so like a disrupt their work is number five. P I C which is ruinous. Or? Yeah, ruinous is disrupting. Uh huh. And then decaying, decaying is clearing out. No, decaying is clearing out to get in their good graces. Yeah, and to get in their good graces. Yeah. We're not doing it. So we want the ruinous crypt. Yeah, we want to go to the ruinous crypt, but we also have the option to go to the Inix encampment. Nope. Um. And we also have the option to go back to Gloomhaven, which means we would have to do a road card and then do a city. If we want to do a city card. If we want to do a city card, we could do a city card on top of it. Mm. Either way, we're going to have to do a road card. Yeah. Derek, do you have a strong inclination one way or the other? I don't want to help the necromancers. Okay. I kind of, I tend to agree. I think we should go to the Ruinous Crypt. Okay. And also, is still small, so pass on the Enix. <laughs> well, we can go to the Enix after we do the Crypt. Actually, like, At I, that point, I think we'll have leveled up. And yeah, well, like, when we level up, we can go to the Enix camp. Well, we'll see. <laughs> so, we want to do number five. Yes. Okay, so we can put that away for right now. So we're not going back to Gloomhaven yet? We're going to have to do a road card no matter what. But if we go there, we're going to have to do a road card. We will be able to purchase some things, too, if we want. I don't have any real money. I don't have money either. Okay. So, I mean, we could go back just if we want to do a city card, but... Okay, well, then let's go to a... You want to just go straight to number five? Let's go, let's go straight to number five. Road card. Okay. Well, we got to get all of the stuff out first. Okay. So you want to look that up when we start getting that stuff out and ready? Yeah. Oh... Okay, um, I am playing the Brute. You are playing the Mindweaver? The Crystal. What to, do you remember? I don't remember what it's called. And you know what we could do? Get it out of the box? Good. So, what a. So. Tiles do we need? <laughs> Jeez. We need. No, 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 no. Don't do it that way. They're in order. No, they're not enough to burn right now. Well, they're at least grouped together. So, I need... This boy's two. usually tells us. M1A. Got it. Done. K1A and K2B. Can you check and make sure, please? M1A. K2B. K2A. No, that's K1A. Flip it over. K1A is what, I, is what we need. Yep. K2B. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. What? Why don't we just rotate it? We're just gonna rotate it. So we have to look out of here. Okay, this is me. I will tell you what I am in just a minute. I am the quatrial tinkerer named Scourge. Spellweaver. Spellweaver. I am the spellweaver. 
Okay, so I need lots of things. Okay, what do you need? Okay, we're playing. This. I'm gonna come to you again so I remember. It's the top, this one right here, right? It's the top right corner. Top right corner, okay. So I need, oh gosh. Let's start with this middle room. I need three cultists. What color background do they have? White, oh, um, like smoky. Like that? Um, I think it's this one. It's the one with the, yeah, it's got the shadowy trees in the background. Um, two night demons, which have the purpley background, which is probably in here. Should be a thing that tells me. Um, need three cultists, and those three need white backgrounds, please. Nate, you mean white bases? Yeah, white bases. I need one, two, three, four skelly boys. There's two out. Four skelly boys. We we're playing uh, we're still playing easy right now yeah because we we're, we're waiting until we really get like comfortable with it because the one drawback with us playing right now is that we play every other week which means that each time we play it's like a okay gotta remember how to play real quick before we get into it kind of thing What do the Skelly Boys need? Skelly Boys. Um, I'm looking for the Frost Demon. Frost Demon? Uh -oh. I thought it would be in here, but it's not. Is it in here? Skelly Boys, I need two gold and a white. Two gold and a white. You guys can't yeah. see my health and experience, right? So I can just move it over here. And a white. There's a knight. Oh, gosh. What is the other... There's another skelly here you have. Two white and two yellow. I don't like those. The night demons are terrifying. I'd like to see one. Fans of the show Critical Role will be familiar with these boys. Okay, still haven't found the Frost Demons yet. What do you need these ones? Those, uh, a white and a gold. All three of those are white, and I still, I still can't find the Frost Demons. How many do you need? Three. As you can see on the screen currently, this game is brought to you by our friends at kickstartedgames.com. You can purchase previously kickstarted games oh, on their website. They sponsored when we played... Smash Up. Smash Up? Yeah. We when didn't we played... play Smash Up. Did we play Smash Yeah, we played Smash Up. When we played Smash Up, they sponsored and we got to give away the expansion, Hi, the new hey. expansion. And then they also sent us this copy of Gloomhaven for uh, us to play for you guys. Yeah, I mean, I happened to mention in a Twitter comment that 
we didn't have it, but we wanted it, and it's super expensive, and they were like, hey, you guys want us to send you this too? And we were like, well, hell yes. <laughs> okay. So definitely shout out to them for providing this, which gives us the chance to play it for you. All right, so we need cultist, living bones. Here. Those are two, three frost. And what colors do they need? Uh, all, all those are white to you. Sorry, you all. This is why we usually have this done before. It's all right. This way people get to see exactly what it takes to actually set up one of these games. A lot. Is that all my stuff? I would have gotten to it. Now, now I can make it faster. Okay, thank you. Okay, so well, what are the names of everything that we need? Cultist. Got it. Living Bones. Got it. Night Demon. Night Demon. That sounds spooky. They are spooky. Night Demon. This is a super exciting stream right now. Night Demon. Megan, when you chose your last level, did you take a plus one with a burn token on it? I don't remember what I took. Wound. Yes. Yes. Okay, Night Demon. Got it. Next. Flame Demon. Flame Demon. Got it. Next. Frost Demon. Got it. Mm. Is that it? Mm. Yes. That's all. We got this, guys. Three, three, two, one more trap. Three, four. Okay. There's all of the stuff. And then we need six coins eventually. Okay. But that's kind of easy to get a hold of. Whew. All right. So. These are all mine. These are my actual ones? Yes. Are these mine too? Yes. So what are going to be in the first room that we come Okay, to first say? room. Oh, we need our little characters. We, need to do, we also need to do a road. Uh, yes, we need to do a road card too. Okay. The altar is there. There are three night demons surrounding said altar. There are damage traps. Oh, crap. Right here. Okay. I need doors. If you want to look for two door cart or two door tiles. Um, uh, oh, those aren't night demons. Wait, did I only get. There should be. Th there should. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yes. Three cultists. Two night demons. There is a cultist. Oh, okay. Did I not say cultist? You said night demons first. Oh. That's fine. Cultist. Cultist, living bones, night demon, flame demon, frost demon. All of them. In, well. Yes. Three cultists. Mm -hmm. uh, and the night demons are in the first room. Okay. So I see these two for right. Yes. Guys, you, oh, you found the doors. Okay, so that is all that we need for right now. And we also need um, pencils. Oh, those are over in Over there. Alright, I need to get the rest of these cards. Okay. surprised him with it. Just get one of the mechanical I prefer mechanical pencils, so give me one of the mechanical pencils. Twenty. Here's the monsters deck for this. That's all that. 
Now, we learned a few things last time. What did we learn? Bitches get stitches. <laughs> no. We learned... This game is difficult. Yes. But we learned that each monster gets its own... Card. Yes. Card. Yes. Road card. Oh, those are the right ones. Are yes. Those the right ones? Okay. They should be mixed up. Check, just check the numbers at the bottom. They should be in no particular order. No particular order. looks like 30 is the highest. If the first one's about birds, we already did it. Yeah. We just need to show some more. Okay. Road card. You see a lone wagon off to the side of the road up ahead. Wait, do we have music? Oh, yeah. Also, can we please hook back up to this thing? Yes. Please. Okay, well, we need to plug it in and everything. And Kay. then I can switch it over. It's just, it's really hard to hear. No. Uh. This is some really intense music for a road card. This, give me the plug, Derek. I already got it. Plug well, it in. Oh, I was going to say we plug it in right here, but that's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then you plug in the little cord in the back. Uh, here. Nope, where is it at? Turned on? Yeah. So I'm trying to pause, trying to pull these things off. Okay. I was just asking because it's so hard to hear it up here. <sighs> I like this music. It reminds me a little bit of. Of Trans Siberian Orchestra. Which I really love. <laughs> hey, MG MJC, thank you so much. We love you too. the names of some of these things. Oh, no, I know. There's some scary stuff in there. It's not, I, I have to change things up here. That's not going to do anything. That needs to be an aux. It is an aux. Yeah. And make sure the volume's not too loud. I don't know what he said it to. Twelve. Yeah, it's fine. What is this? Are these yours? No, mine are right here. No, I mean your extras? I don't know. Look at my... Look at the symbols in the corner. Yes, they're mine. How do you put some away? Well, here's at the bottom of this stack. You don't need that out? No, that's the uh, the card that we received at the beginning. I know, but I like to keep mine out. Oh, I don't like to keep mine out. There, jeez, finally. For those of you who are unaware, if you're unaware, Gloomhaven uh, is large. Uh, there are 90 plus scenarios to play, and this is our fourth. So, it's a lot. So we have the Flame Demon and the... Are we going to try and play through the entirety of Gloomhaven I think we're gonna have to we take, a, take break. a break? I think we're going to have to take a break. I was just curious because, like, we have we have several. We have another legacy game in there. In four weeks, we're going to have Machi Koro Legacy to play. Yes. There we go. Okay. It's a little longer than four weeks. Four weeks is a month. 
We're just under two months now. I do think, though, having that insert once we get Kale back. Wink. Uh, Hi, we, Kale Wink. We did go over the classes. I am the tinkerer. Megan is the spell Soul weaver. Weaver. And Steven is Le Brute. Welcome to the stream. And this is only our fourth scenario that we're that we're doing today. Yes, we we usually have all of this set up beforehand, but we were slacking this week and didn't decide where we were going to go beforehand. Um, I'm missing a board. It's it's a lot. Okay, road card. Well, I'm going to wait until he gets self set up because he's still. Good, I can. I don't even have my my character. Whew. What? I was so excited for the um, surprise that I wasn't like really, I wasn't super focused on. Yeah. Um, you know where the thing is for this? That's what I was looking for. That's the only thing I'm missing right now. Nice. Not a problem, not a problem. That's what we're here for. Yeah, please, feel free. Talk away. And if you've played the game and you know more about it than we do, <clears throat> by all means, okay. feel free to help us. You see a lone wagon off to the side of the road up ahead. You approach cautiously. As you near, a jovial man with a wide hat waves at you. Ho oh, there, I don't suppose you have any expertise in fixing a broken axle. The road wasn't even that lumpy, and then bam, the man claps his hands together. Just splits in half. I need to have all these goods up north in two days, and I'm just at a loss about how to get myself out of this pickle. Option A, attempt to help the man with his axle problem. Option B, tie up the man and take all of the goods he is so concerned about. Hi, I'm Scourge. I can absolutely fix your wheel. <laughs> um, I say we help him. Say so we help them too. So you're not. You're I not, have all the appropriate tools. You don't want to tie him up. We can do both. <laughs> Let's just help him. Surprises me with you. Okay, so we're doing option A. Okay. The man talks the whole way through the process, but after an hour or so, the axle is repaired, and the man leaves in a radiant mood, bestowing blessings upon you. All start scenario with bless. And we gain one reputation. Blessings to you, Chubster! So we all start blessed. That means we get that extra card. Oh, wait. Hang on. Bless, bless, what does that mean? Bless, what? bless. I mean, we have this bless, person. Bless, bless, We have bless. the tinkerer. Uh-huh. Yeah. But do I we have to have both of them or just no, one? No, I think you just have to have one of them. Okay. So you can only do A if you have the tinkerer or uh, whatever or the one is. it just doesn't have an effect. Interesting. So, we gain one reputation, which is on the actual, uh, our reputation is on... The board. Actually, no. The reputation's on here. Oh, it's on the group, the party one. Yeah. So, we gain a reputation, and we all start with less. So, I gotta find those cards and give us those cards. We gain a reputation. We didn't have reputation before. I feel like we might have, but... I'm fairly certain it's on the bottom of this thing. No, that's prosperity. Yeah. That's prosperity. That's oh. different. We have two prosperity. Uh, what's the bless symbol look like? It the looks like a sun! It's like a... Okay. There's a bless for you, sir. There's a bless for you. This and a bless for me. Like sun. But... Okay. Uh, we also need to... It's a cave bear. We also need to each take two of these and decide which one we're taking. That is right. Speaking of dark blessings, where in the God's green earth is Apollo Phage? Where has he gone? Okay. There's those. And I will finish unpacking my stuff now. Doing the dark horse bidding, I assume. Um. I 
guess I'm going to try that one. I don't think I'm going to get that one, though. Alright, so here is... I'm going to put it up there, the one I don't want. Where do we start? We start... Oh, in the main room. In okay. the main room in one of these five places. So I'm obviously going to pick something back here. I'm obviously going to pick something in the front. So you want to be front and center? Uh, it's just these five spaces, so there's not really a front or a back. Uh, wait, which five spaces? These five. Yeah, I'll take that one. Okay. Do you where you want to start? I don't know. Scourge. I got, I got two very specific things. Scourge, where do you want to start? Oh, I need to look at mine and decide what I want to do. Okay, so just so we have an idea of what we're dealing with. Uh, so the night demon, these guys, mm -hmm. uh, that gold one, the attackers gain disadvantage. Actually, both of them, any of the night demons, attackers gain disadvantage. Great. Uh, cultist, uh, which is basically cultist, they only take four. They don't have any range. Neither one of these is a ranged attack. Cool. In this room. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Look at your two and uh, get yourself ah! situated. As you get yourself situated, I will read this. Okay. Your mission is clear. These elemental cultists are distorting the fabric of the world and must be stopped. Must be stopped. With that goal in mind, you follow the writings to an ancient crypt you believe to be the cult's base of operations. Stealing yourself for combat, you batter through the rotted door and charge into the hall of the crypt. The sight before you is both wondrous and horrifying. A group of cultists is performing a ritual incant performing ritual incantations in front of a black, gaping hole in reality. They turn toward you and snarl, unsheathing their sacrificial daggers. Behind them, an inky darkness spills forth from the hole and coalesces into nightmarish forms of full of teeth and claws. You know you must send these terrors of the elemental plane back into the void. But you are paralyzed with fear. All characters start with disarm as a scenario effect. Oh. All right, cool, so we can attack this round. I mean, are we just gonna remember you all can't attack the first round? Yeah. Okay. Can't attack the first round. Okay, just so you know what kind of damage we're dealing with, uh, the cult is just one and two, but these two big guys uh, can do uh, three and four. Okay. Uh, but if you can hit them, they're pretty easy to kill. Okay, it's just hitting them. Correct. Can you switch the um, audio? Oh, yes, sorry. Where it's supposed to be. Or someone made a typo with the now playing command. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. Nightbot, you're so funny. Nightbot is sassy. That's so much better and so like less um In abrasive. Your face. Okay, so let's see what I have. So I have a couple um, of healing potions. Something is happening. What's going on? Is Kitty chewing they on can't, the tables? Something happened. What? Metamome asked if there was a storm that knocked out power. Are we not live anymore? Can you guys still see us? Oh. Looks like it's only for some people. I see you, but it's glitching. Still dropping frames? Uh, I'm not seeing that. It says 4.3%, but. Hold on, you can tell you this is funny. It'll tell us. 
We're not dropping frames currently. It's been a while. That's why it's not popping up. Something. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. I refreshed okay. and it's fine. I see you now, but it went dead. Refresh. I can see you, but Derek sounds really sorry. <laughs> Kellink, welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you for the follow. That puts us one closer, so we're only 26 away. Thank you so much. All right, so are we good? Is everybody good? Fine now. It was glitching for a while. Okay, cool. Well, it looks like we're just going to have problems tonight. Well, we we actually will have um, we have some storms blowing through. Yeah. Okay. Kelwink, welcome to the neighborhood. Uh, if you enjoy our banter and the banter of the chat, consider joining our Discord. There's a lot of bullshit that happens in there. Uh, we now have GIF emotes. For some people to use, which is something that I think we can talk about. Uh, Discord has a new thing called boosting, mm -hmm. and if you are a subscriber to their Nitro service, which lets you have extra emotes and lets you play games and stuff on Discord, um, you have a boost available to you that you can give to a Discord channel that you frequent. Um, as different numbers of people boost different Discord channels, that channel will get benefits. Uh, we reached level one, like, within two hours of it going live, which was very cool. Um, so now we have 50 more emotes. Our audio quality is better. Um, if you do boost, you get to use GIF, uh, GIF emotes on our channel and all the channels that you frequent. You can also use the emotes and emojis from your other Discord channels in our Discord channels and vice versa. It's a very cool thing that they've done. Um, and we are close-ish to level 2, which means more emotes and better audio quality and all kinds of stuff. So, like, the more boosts that your Discord channel participants boost to you, to your channel, the better the channel gets. We should mention that it is either $10 a month or $99. Yeah, it's something year. that if you year. already do it, like you right, already Yeah, that's what we're saying. If you already if you already, already pay for pay nitro, for it, then then yes, but if you don't, don't worry about it. Yeah. Cuz I didn't want to pay $10, but it's pretty cool. So You also get games. Yeah. Uh, one of the games is Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, which I'm going to play. I'm super excited about that. I was really hoping that Minecraft was going to be one of the games and it's not. I'm still mad that I paid for Minecraft and then it showed up on the Xbox because I pay, Game Pass. pay for I pay for Game Pass and it showed up on Game Pass. Can I have that pencil? Oh yeah. Alright, so Okay. We all have disadvantage. So we cannot attack, but we can that'll go away at the end of the next turn. But we can still move. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm okay with this. I can do this. I don't want to, like, waste my stuff. Do you already have your stuff ready? Oh, yeah. Enjoy your sewing, Ancient Wings. Ooh, fun. Yes, get that done for Gen Con. Yes, we do. We love it. Okay, 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 okay. So, would opening the door be a you dumb have to get idea? To the door first. Both the doors are surrounded by traps. Would opening the door be a dumb idea? I think I, so. Yes, All let's right. take care of these night terrors real quick, or night demons real quick, before we do that. I have a plan that I'm hoping will help us. Cool. Because this is just going to be like a super wasted turn for me. Speaking of so much to do before Gen Con, I'm going to toss this out here. And again, I'm not asking anyone to spend money, but if you have money just lying around... We have a merch store, and you can get a shirt with our faces on it, and it's pretty legit. We should think about putting
putting the new cartoons on there. Yeah, but I don't know how what to get rid of in order to put the new the socks. You don't like the socks? Yeah, I that's an easy choice for me. All right, I'll do it tomorrow. There will be a new shirt in the store tomorrow pending me not having a lot to do at work. Should you have potent potables? Those potent potables. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you can go check out our merch store. We have shirts, we've got mugs, we've got leggings, we've got crop tops, we've got tanks, we've got socks until tomorrow. <laughs> we have <laughs> certain things that you might enjoy to wear to Gen Con. All right. I have mine. All right. I'm gonna flip the. I'm gonna flip these guys over. Yeah, I'm the spell weaver. He's the tinkerer. Potent potables? I don't think I have potent potables yet. I do not have potent potables yet. Are we ready to go? Uh, First we flip over the Eminis. Eminis? Gen Con is huge Oof. confirmed. Okay. Jesus. That sucks. Alright, well they both go before us. Well they both go for me at least. Now I'm at 17. I'm at 18. I'm at 20. But good thing is I do have retaliation. So anyone that attacks, any, when one of them attacks me, they're gonna take two points of damage. So. Um. Yeah, but that doesn't activate until you're. What I thought it. It would be like whenever I look at it, it's like when you're playing D and D. But that just says. Attackers suffer damage. Yeah, but like. I just want to double check because I'm th I I look at it like D and D like you cast like I'm gonna cast mage armor on myself. But yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it in. But in, you can only use shield if it's on your card. Can you only use retaliate when it's on your card? I'm I'm, I'm looking right now. Retaliate X bonus. Ooh. Water nymph. That's exciting. I'm still trying to decide if I'm actually going to start on Jester or not. It's getting to a point where I don't know that I'm going to have time to finish it if I... If I start... Tell you take effect after the attack that initiated it. So no, you so no. you have to do the attack that has that no, symbol the, on the, it. No, the attack that initiated is whenever somebody attacks me. No, your attack that initiates it. That's not what that says. We see. It means that the damage comes to me first before because it says if they're exhausted or whatever after that. It but means I take the damage first. But it's in the same vein as the shield and you can't use a shield unless it comes up on your card. What do you mean it comes up on your card? You have to have shield on one of these cards in order to have a shield. That's not how retaliation works. Because I don't think that there is a that symbol on the cards. Um, that's a per, not a persistent bonus. Google! Some abilities can give a character Wrong bonuses, eyes. right here. Hanging on bonuses on other abilities either persistently until a certain conditions are fulfilled or for the rest of the round. These abilities are denoted with a symbol. It's effective. Wrong bonuses will have this symbol on the card, the effective ability. Active time to the card is played until the end of the round. So when is the card played? When it's revealed or when you actually take the action? Which is what my argument has been. Well, so you can't play the card until it's your turn. Okay. Metamami with the 13 bits. Thank you, Metamami. Thank you. Filling up that cup with those pride flags. So 
All right, so I mean, I... the thing is, is I'm confused about when it would take place because I too have one that. But yours is a persistent. Yeah, for two. But it would be in the same vein as yours. Mm -hmm. Enemies can also use retaliate. No, sorry, that's, that's not what we're. Discussing. I know, but that's what I. Um. So, is whenever you believe that the card doesn't go into effect until the initiative on the card? That's what I was thinking. All right, that's whole play. That's fine. Because it would be it would be like D and D whenever you. So when you have a retaliate card, it has a number next to it, just like your attack. But that's how many damage they would take. Right, so you have Retaliate 2 on there, but it only affects when this card is played. I know. I, yeah, that's the, what the, we the, knew that. The conversation okay. was just whether or not... When when was the card considered played is what we were... Oh, I see. So was it when by... it was flipped over when, init when we were at the initiative, or is it until he's okay, initiative? I understand. Okay. It stinks, but it is what it is. Yeah, it does. It really, really, really does. Sorry. All right, so they're both going before us. Well, Coltus first. So Coltus first. Now their move is minus one. Their move is minus one, so they can each move one one square. So only one's gonna get within range, and that's gonna come up to me. Yep. And the other two are just gonna move forward. Okay. So this one he uh, does a circle attack. No, that's only on death. If he kills somebody, that's on death. Oh, okay. It does two more around around it. So. Right now it's negative one, so its attack is zero right now. Because it only has an attack of one. Yes, let's hope it stays zero. Sweet! Stays at zero. So Swing. Luckily that didn't do anything. And the other ones. These can't guys notice. their move is plus zero. But it's a base of uh their base three. movement of three. Three and four. So that one's gonna go to you and this one's gonna come to me. Well, it would probably go here, so it's yeah, next to both. Yeah, it does adjacent. Uh, it says all adjacent enemies suffer one damage, but does that mean only if it has the ability to use this? Y yes. It has to have the ability to do that, right? Yes. Okay, so that doesn't do that. So attack's negative one, so uh, this, this one does two damage, and that one does three damage. But we're going to do this one first. Three damage. Three. So I'm at seven. What are you at? Three. Already? Okay. Yeah, um, I'm squishy. I'm really squishy. And then this one for Derek, plus one. So three damage to you as well. Okay, now it is our turn. Megan, you go first. No, uh, Derek, you go first. Mm-hmm. Changes what I was going to do, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm changing what I'm doing, too. First thing I'm going to do, a uh, range of three, is heal Megan for three. Thank you. Oh, nice. And then move four. I very much appreciate that. Okay. Um, so that's what you're doing. So how are you looking on health right now, Megan? Are you back to full? I'm back to full. Okay, because I was going to heal you if you didn't. Since he healed you, I'm going to heal myself with this one for two. Okay. So I'm back up to nine. And I can't do this card, so this card's just a bum card. So oh, I'm green energy comes out. So I'm activating this one. So uh, the snowflake is going to come out. Okay. Um, and then um, the next two sources of damage to me, I suffer no damage. Which does it? Oh, gotcha, because that's a continuous. Yeah, and then I can't do this one, so it just gets discarded. Okay. Oof. Yeah, that was rough. All right, now we can actually do something. Okay. Um. Oof. Let's 
So I'm going to take a short rest. Already? Yeah. And you're gonna discard that. You're gonna... You have to discard randomly, I think. Yeah, one of those two you have to discard randomly. There's one random discard. One random the discard. Well, then I'm not doing it. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Let's do that. I really want to take care of. Mm. They're in such an odd, like. Thing. Yeah, I'm. Okay. Um, I'm going to go after the big guy. The big guy. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not gonna be helping you. Just so you know. That's fine. I am going to be hitting multiple targets, and would appreciate if people would stay out of the middle of the room. Okay, that's no problem. I mean. Thank you, Canadian beer! With the doges! Doge, 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 doge. Should fill up the cup. You know what that means. Either a follower or a sub makes a sploge. You can know. use a top action for a standard two attack if you don't ah, want to get Canadian yeah, beer, have you uh, figured out that whole, like... Like medically induced coma thing till Gen Con. <laughs> Fenton Crackshell, we appreciate the help. Hey, However, on the first turn, we were disarmed, so we could not attack, so we couldn't, so they they couldn't use that standard oh. to attack. Well, he's gonna make Can his own explosion. Beer, thank you. Yeah, big dog. Thousand bits. Look at. Explosion. Thank you so much for the thousand bits, Canadian beer. All right, well, we'll just keep trying because, you know, I, I really want to be Gen Con now. All I right. can hit someone with my car. A cheer shared reward to 25 others in chat. Check your stuff to see if you got new emotes. Yeah, you may have new remote new emotes. I'm going to look. Like I said, any bits that are donated right now, they I do did. give a percentage of the... Uh, they do give some money to Trevor Project, which is an amazing <laughs> organization. I have both of them now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? I'm yep. ready. Let me make sure I have my Flip cards them here. first. Yep. All right. So, that guy's going 35. Okay. That's good. And that one is Damn going it. 10. Okay. But they're getting negative and negative. So, we flip ours over. Yeah, but that just ruined my plan. 16. 21. 10. So, I actually go first. Because yes, if there's a tie, go heroes go first. Um, but they only have a movement of one, Megan. So they're, you, you can probably still do what you want to do. I don't know if I can get around them to do it. Well, either way. So I'm going to use just the basic two. Wait, wait. Which one was going to do? I was going to do this move of two, which I'm actually only going to move one. I'm going to move right here. And then I'm going to attack the big guy. Okay. So I do have disadvantage. I have to draw two. Please, whatever happens, do not give me plus one, plus zero. So it's just plus zero. That's still good. Oh yeah, we have disadvantage on everything. Yes. We? Well, on on these guys. So yeah. he still takes three damage, and then he is pushed two away from me. So you gotta push him onto the. I'm trap? pushing him into this tra trap. Smart. Which means he takes three damage from a trap, I believe. I believe that also gets rid of the trap. Yeah, double check traps, let me make sure. You have that. <laughs> There's not a thing. It's in the front, I think. Uh, on the back? It... It's in the front. Traps, 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 traps. Traps. Wait, Talking Dog, did you give another three bits? Thank you, Talking. <gasps> Thank you, Talking Dog, for the doge bits. Puppers. Puppers. I hope that your puppers has been uh, getting lots of pets. Probably, yeah. 
Nope. nope. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Oh, it says three dot damage at a scenario one level. It can be pushed through. through two, both traps. I mean, it's two spaces. It is traps two spaces. Traps and hazardous terrain monsters. Okay, but that doesn't tell us. Can I see it? Me. Traps. A trap is sprung when a figure enters its text with normal or forced movement. Uh, flying and jump are, yeah, but we're not. It inflicts some negative. Uh, it is removed for the board. A trap can also be disarmed through specific actions. Um, if for parts of a trap listed as damage, the trap will inflict, which it is a damage trap, um, I believe. It yeah. Is. So um, two plus level damage. Two plus level, so which would three, be three. Yeah. So, and I can push him through both, right? Or yes. he's gonna land in one. Why not? I can go like that and go like push him. Right. One, but he's two. not gonna take the damage from this one because he's not landing in it. No. When a when a trap a trap is sprung when a figure enters its hex, oh. not when it lands on it. So, so boom, yes, you boom. could move him through both of those and give him six damage. Six damage. I'm gonna move through both of them, which means he's gonna die in this square. So Which is close to you. The gold gets placed there. Son of a both of these go away. Bitch. What? I needed to kill the first thing. Oh. Sorry. I'm not gonna get mine either. So there's that. Um I think. Yeah. And that is all that I can do. Okay. Uh, but we got rid of the big guy, so. The cultists? Cultists are going next. They are negative one movement and negative one to attack. All which right. is a good thing. So That guy's going to stay with me. These two aren't going to move. Yeah, and this one's going to try to move. I but think that one's actually going to go here. Because you are actually closer to it than I am. Yeah. So it would move that way. So. Where was he? There. He's right there. It's the same. Is it the same? So here, he's equal to both of you now. Gotcha. Okay. So they right now, they all have negative one. Well, these two have negative one. So... One for Derek. So right now it's zero. So whatever this card is, what damage is. Negative one. So no damage to you. Times two to me, but I'm wearing my helm. So it becomes a plus zero. Nice. So these get shuffled back in. So I, I take no damage either. Cool. All right. So now who's next? Um, I am. I have 21. I have 16. No. So you. Yes. Um... Uh, range of... Uh, first off, I'm going to use my Eagle Eye Goggles so I have advantage on all these attacks. Awesome. Thank you, Fat and Crack Shell. Uh, and I'm going to use my range of three. One, two, three starts it to attack those three fellas. Okay. Which means I get three experience points. So... So, this one first. Okay. So plus two, so he takes Wait, six. so you have advantage on I'd use my goggles. I have advantage on all the attacks. So gotcha. this guy takes six damage. He's dead, dead. Wait, yeah, yeah, he's Can dead. Can I have the rules, please? Ah. The other cultist is a plus zero, so he takes four damage. Four damage, so he's still dead. And then the scary skitterer. Now, just do the first one. Because he gives you disadvantage... And you give yourself advantage. So it's plus one, so five. So five points of damage to him? Yes. He's also dead. And the moons come out. And moons come out. These two should be that one. Nice round. No, is that a one time? Damn, that's a one time use card, yeah. isn't it? Okay, well, great. And then I'm going to. It moves six, but it's not necessary. Go through the door. Yeah. But then this card gets... What, if you move? Yeah. You can move two. I can just move two. Move yeah. two would just open the door. I 
with that coin. Can you open an adjacent door, or you have to be in the hex to open the you door? You have to be on the hex. Okay. I mean, it's a somewhat wasted thing, but you could use that move and then loot, and it gives you one all around you. I don't have loot. Oh, I thought that's when you had on there. No. Nope. That's what I was going to do, is just this literally targeted all adjacent enemies and you all killed everybody. <laughs> so I mean, that's a good problem to have. It's useless. Um, so all oh. I'm going to do... Well, Billy, tell Polly we say hello back. <laughs> oh, we love him too. Tell him that we need to do a team up stream at some point. One. Yes, we do. So you're not gonna open the door, you're gonna stop no. there. We because love, I'm gonna be in the Polly. doorway. I'm not. I already. I already. I'm already He's down to half my human. health. human. Hey, neon froggy. Hello, hello. It's your turn. Oh yeah, tell tell Polly that we need to figure out a way for the two streams to team up besides just at Gen Con. Also, tell Polly about this Pauline character. Is he doing drag for the month of June? Because I think that that is a yes. Uh, what is that? It's cultist. How much? Uh, the cultist has four health. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Nina Froggy's upset that you never said hello to him. I don't think he's upset. I think he's just pointing out a fact. No, that's a sad face. It's a robot. It doesn't have emotions. It is a sad face. It's a robot with a tear, actually, if you look close enough. Well, I'm not looking close enough. Hello, Neon Froggy. <laughs> Jeez. So reluctant. <laughs> Terrible. Two, three of my four. What am I doing? I'm going to attack him. Um, it targets all adjacent enemies. Don't have any adjacent enemies. Okay. But it'll be two. And I. The, did the cultists give me? No. It's, so I just. Nope. Just, I think that if we can get Polly to do zero. drag for the month of June, that's an entire Worm Life episode just getting him ready. So it gets two damage and it is immobilized. Two damage and it can't move. Nice. And that is cultist number five? Five. Oh my gosh. Okay, cultist number five has two damage and is immobilized. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. Okay. We are ready for the next round. We are. These guys go away. Alright, so we have to just FYI. We have to kill all the enemies. Okay. Um, would you guys like me to go into the next room, or would you like me to take care of this guy? One of us needs to take care of this guy, so who's going to take care of him, and who's going to... Um... Oh shoot, were those things on there? What? Were those things on there? Yes. Why? If I use the frost one, it's a plus one to my attack. Okay, so he has three damage. Yeah, he's three damage. Just the frost one? Just the frost one. Okay, so three damage. Oh, that's five. Like I said, um... He says he's all set. What does that even mean? He's saying that he's not going to do drag. If uh, Polly does drag, I'll do drag. I've seen you in drag. And not it's, for the entire month of June, just once. It's Derek is not great. Uh, somebody the, clip uh, that and send that over to Polly. I will do it. For solidarity, I will do drag for drag. Are we going to bring in uh, Ted? Have Ted do your that's, makeup? That's a lot. Say if you're gonna if you're gonna do it, have Miss Vicky do your makeup. I feel like I feel like we could definitely talk Ted into doing it. Well, is he in Brightstar? No. 
Okay. I mean, he'll be doing the hair and stuff for Bright Star, but... I think it would be hilarious to get Ted on for a game. <laughs> I love. Uh, nobody um, answered my question. Yeah, I know. Oh, we're playing a game? We are. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> am I going through the door, or am I taking care of this person? Um... I would rather you not go through the door presently. We need to go through the door so we can... Yeah. I am taking a short rest. Okay, that's not great. I can actually get us through the other door. What do you mean? As well. I can get us through the other door. What about the traps? I can get us through the other door. I can get myself through the other door. Got you, okay. Um, Alright, how about this? I, I can will... here's I can open this door and then move away. Okay. I if you want to do that, I will take him out and I'm going to move up into that door. Or get closer to that door. Well, I'm going to go to the other side. This is a much different uh, feel for this game. <laughs> Alright, ready? I'm going to the other door, just so everyone knows. Yep, I got the guy that's in here with us. Alright. All right. Wait, we're opening both doors at the same time? Yep. Okay. Alright, so, their number, 27. I am number seven. I am 27. I'm 17. So we all go before they go. Well, before that one goes. So I'm going to move four and jump. One, two, jump four. Okay, so that gets that unlocked. Yep, that door is unlocked. Okay. Okay, this is probably a terrible idea. So but what does this fine. one get? So we have rubble, rubble. Toil and trouble. Rubble. Okay, and the um, a second here. Okay, this one's here, and then two Skelly Boys here. Uh, which ones? Um, a white and a yellow. Where where are they going? Uh, here and here. Which one goes where? Uh, yellow, white. Three coins. And the treasure chest is over here. Excellent. So. Make sure that we let Polly know about Derek's offer and see what he says. Okay. So. I am stuck here. Okay. Um, so those we need to get are those the out now. frost demons, yes. Frost demons. And then the skelly boys. Okay, they have no range, which is good. And their movement's not great. So cool. only one of them can get to you. Okay. And skellies. Okay. Yeah, I can move my stuff here. No, you're fine. Get rid of that. That can go over here. Frost Demon, Skelly Boys. So. I just have a lot of stuff. Uh, so the Living Bones. Oh wait, that's one. That's the wrong one. I guess. So Living Bones can target two people, but they have no range again. So none of these people have range. Right. Which is nice. Okay. So I am going to. What did we flip over when they go? Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Yes, okay. but it doesn't matter because I finish out my turn. So I'm going to finish out my turn anyway. Um, and then they'll go if they go before 18. you all. So that one's going to go before me. And 25. Okay. So I'm going to shoot this guy. Okay. With my attack here. Um, oh, I get a... Crap, I keep... 
I am. Okay. Um, we do this, and I'm going to use the black. Yeah. Plus zero. Why? Sorry. So what is it? Three points of damage. Three points of damage. Uh, one of the frost guys. Which one is On that? That's three. three. And that also gives me a. Both of these go so that guy's only one point away from being dead. No, two, two points. points away from being dead. Uh, but they have a shield. But that doesn't go into effect until their turn. Correct. Right. So, still takes three points of damage. Which I actually would have had. I had something that I could use for that. That's fine. So. If that's not the number case. three, takes three points of damage. All right. Now it is their turn. It was my turn. He's 17. 17? Uh, oh, yeah, they're 18. All right. So, where are my cards? How do I? The first thing I am doing is... Opening the door? Or summoning your decoy? You moving into the door space? Well, I can do something else. If you have a way to... I was just going to put my decoy right there, but... Go for it. If you do that, then I can move this way and go towards where Megan is. Well, we're still going to have to fight whatever's in that room. I'm going to even come help the little, little guy. <laughs> what? The little guy's going to die. All right, now I'll come toward you. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to go one, two to open the door. Okay. So in there is basically the same thing. That's the... Oh. You flipped the book. It's this side. No, I'm. I am incorrect. I was incorrect. Oh, you have the book. You had the. Book I flipped. had the book flipped. Okay, so it doesn't. It can go either way. If it's identical. I mean, I don't care either way. I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference one way or the other. It doesn't matter which way you turn it. If you guys if you guys aren't worried about it, then I, I think that it's gonna I'm not worried about it. So I'm just gonna do this like I had it. Three. Uh the three fire demons. There is a treasure chest in here. Two skelly boys. The fire demons like this? Yep. Two skellies. Two skellies. And three duck coins. Yep. Oh, one of the these are not skellies. What? Those are not skellies. Oh. Skellies are up there. Sorry. Chad, how are you guys doing tonight? How are you all doing? You guys got quiet on us. <laughs> okay. I heal myself one. You're sculpting. Sculpting, nice. that's fun. And decoy. Decoy? So you need your little marker, right? Yes. If you are new to the stream, welcome. We are Board Game House. We play board games Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mondays and Fridays we play regular board games like Catan or uh, Mystic Veil or... Ticket to Ride. Ticket to Ride. Um, and then on Wednesdays, we alternate back and forth between our legacy game. Obviously, right now we're playing Blue Haven. Hmm? You're not using to block the door? Or? I thought you were going in the door. I mean, I can't really get past you, can I? Yeah, you can move through our space. Oh, okay. You just can't settle in our space. Okay. Playing Blue Haven right now for our legacy game. We finished up our playthrough of Betrayal Legacy about a month ago. Um... Kelwink, there's no flow here. So, don't you worry about interrupting at us. Yeah, talk away. You, that's what <laughs> we, we're here for. <laughs> uh, all of that is up on our YouTube, um, so you can watch our entire playthrough of Betrayal Legacy, as well as all of our how to plays and um, our streams that you may have missed. And we alternate between this and our D&D 5e homebrew campaign, Three Sheets to the Wind. Um, which will be next week and all of those are also on our YouTube and you can catch up and join us next week to watch us live 
It's super fun. Eight. So they're going to go next. Correct. My turn's over. Okay, so they're going to go. These are gonna, guys are going to go. <sighs> so. Hmm. And I am apparently very sleepy. Oof. Okay. Um, so they all have movement of three. So they're all going to move directly towards us. Um, they have a range, so they're going to go towards your decoy first. We have looked at the the Gloomhaven Helper, but because um, we are playing on stream, uh, we want to make sure everybody can see what's going on and use like the physical pieces um, so everybody can um, see what we're doing. Um, otherwise, I very much would like to use the helper. <laughs> um, here's what I'm going to do. Before my turn's over, I'm gonna because I can have him move too on when he comes out. But you didn't know they were gonna be moving. Yeah, you. Can. But I also didn't know that he could move. But you said you were gonna do that because you thought I was gonna go in that doorway. Because I, I was gonna summon him in the doorway. I didn't know he could move on his turn. It's okay. It's never mind. Um. Otherwise, I would totally love to use the helper application because I know it makes your life a whole lot easier. All right. So now these are all going to attack. Uh, wait, they had a movement of two, not three. Because they have negative one movement. Um, one, two, one. Okay, now they're going to attack. Uh, they have range? Yes, they have a range of three, but they're all going to go after his Yeah, they can't see helper. me. Yeah. They're all going to go after his helper. Uh, so, first one. And they do two damage each. Now, this only goes into effect if the fire token is out, correct? And it's not out. No, if it, if any of them were out. Yeah, so there's none out. Yeah, because that black I used. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. So, no, luckily that doesn't happen. So, first one, attack on him is a plus one. So, that is three damage on your guy. Sure. Next one, three damage. Okay, he's dead. Okay. Uh, can that last one... It depends on which ones you did. I was going in order. One, two, two. three. Okay, this one cannot he can't see, see me. anything. And he can't reach anything. Yeah, so. this would be the only one that I would say would be able to see him. Yeah, but I was going in order from where I'm sitting. Yeah. So. Aw. Well, fuck balls. Well, it's still, I mean, that still saved us. Well, they could have attacked nothing if I wouldn't have put him there. Um. All right, so that's them. Now it is the... Frost demons. Frost demons. So they have a move of three. Yeah, the, that one's going to get right to me. Do you think he would move past me? I mean, they optimized their turn, so I don't think he would. What do you mean? They, but optimizing their turn would... His individual turn. There's not a hive mind. Alright. Alright, so this is for damage on you, Megan. Wait, did I just put those back in here? I did. Those two just went. Um, so this is for the Frost Demon. Uh, they have an attack of three. Negative two. So... One damage. One damage to you, Megan. Bless. Um, I almost think we maybe let them come into the room with us. Is it not ranged? No. no. They're not ranged. So that is the Frost Demon. Now, Living Bones. Uh, they have a move of plus one and attack of negative one. So what is the total? Uh, so total move is three and five. Okay, but they have no range. So three. No, it goes through him. Three. So it's gonna get right in Megan's grill. Uh, but it has negative one to its attack. 
plus one. So, Megan, you take two damage. Other way. Right, the good news is... Can you jump back over? I can't. Okay. Because that will help. I cannot. I will rest so I can. I'm going to take a short rest. So, it's your turn now. It is my turn. So, before the cultist. Yes. So, I'm going to just shoot the cultist with... Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. I didn't take any damage. Oh, they take damage. No, they don't take damage. What about this? I, I suffer no damage. Oh. From anything, or...? On, on the, the next, next two, two sources, sources of yeah. damage to you, suffer oh. no damage instead. And that comes out. Yep. Nice. Okay. So you got back three damage. Yeah, she's back to full. She's back to full. Yeah, I'm back to full. Okay, so I'm <laughs> going to use range to attack this mofo. Um... So I have a range of three, attack of three, plus one. So he's super dead. So coin goes there. Coin goes there. I like this. I want to be running around a maypole. Uh, wait, where was that? No, that guy was here, right? Yeah. Okay. So he's dead, which means that these guys can go away completely now because we don't need them. Okay, just trying to keep the our area clean. So, cultists are gone. I feel like if the cultists are gone, everything else should just kind of like drop. Like de-summon. But de-summon. I guess it's also. De-spawn. I guess it's also kind of like in Skyrim when you kill the, um, the mages that have summoned uh, like mm-hmm. fire. Yeah. The fire things and the fire things don't disappear. Yeah. So, if I can think of words. Okay. There. That's much easier for me to see. Yay! Okay. So, that and then my move is three, plus I can push all adjacent targets if I wanted to. So, one, two, three. Oh, damn it. And then I can push them one. What happens if I push them into... I don't think rubble does anything. Because if that does nothing, then I won't do what I just did. One day we're going to be able to like just like blow through this and be like, oh yeah, we know what that means. You mean when we get to the 90th adventure? Okay, so I think it's considered hazardous terrain. Okay. I think. And that one's got purple difficult terrain. It doesn't do anything. So me pushing them does no good besides getting them out of our space. Yeah. And I can only push them one, so I can push the one uh, fire guy back one, but it doesn't really do us a whole lot of good. So I won't do that. So, uh, I was here. I'm just going to go here. Okay. And just stay put. Okay. okay. All right. So now... I'm going to do that. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to do my minor you know stamina potion, which allows me to recover two of my discarded cards. Discarded or discarded? Discarded. Wait, those are not the destroyed ones. Not, not the lost cards. Your discarded. Cards. Actually, I'm gonna do that as well. And I'm actually, you know what? No, I am gonna do this. I will move out of your way, Derek. That's not. So I'm going to do that. Whoa. So I get two things back. This one back. Still in here. Yep. Yeah, I don't want to use that one. Take that one. And this one. Okay. Hmm. Is 
Does anybody... Does anybody need, um... I am not at full health. Okay. How, how low are you? I mean, how much are you Just down? two things. I don't think I'll be able to get to you. Not with what I want to be able to do. Ugh, it just means it's possible that I'll lose it. Alright. Whee! Oh, I'm s still stupid. Alright, okay. Making, s making smart decisions. Smart decisions. Because it's right above you. Ready? Yeah. Them first. They're gonna go before me. I'm gonna die. Twenty. Fifty-nine. Uh, Fifty-eight. And thirty. 30. All right. I'm sixty-nine. Nineteen. So I'm gonna take damage. Fifteen. Two of them, which isn't terrible. So I go first. So, I am going to do sweeping attack or sweeping blow. Do I, so I do a card for each person or each, I guess it's only two that I get to hit, huh? Yeah, because they're adjacent, the only two of them are adjacent to you. Okay. So, first one Plus takes zero. two damage, so the flame guy takes two damage. He has a shield of two, so no damage. Crap. But his shield doesn't activate. Oh, yeah, his shield doesn't activate. No, the shield is on their car. Oh, okay, then yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the, the living bones. I don't hit. Awesome. That was a fantastic turn. Um, well, do I stand here and... Use a shield on myself? I don't know, did you? And just make it so that they can't all get to us? Wait, the fight flame all has range, right? Mm -hmm. So I'd be taking a lot of damage from a lot of those guys. But they'll be this this one will be a disadvantage, he'll try and move away from you to attack you. Which one's range? Hmm? Which one's range? All the flame guys. This song reminds me of Sonic. Um, I guess I will... It does kind of remind me of Sonic. Alright, I'm going to just do shield. I'm going to stand here and... Uh, just try to uh, tank this. And I'm also going to tap my hide armor. So that's going to be plus two shield for the next two damage on that one, and or yeah, a shield on the next two times I get hit with this one, and this is a one shield for the whole time of this turn. You have three shield. No. I'll have two for the first two attacks, and then one for all the rest. Got it. I'm moving one, uh, and then using my eagle-eyed goggles okay. to have advantage on these attacks. Uh, I am attacking these three. Yes, these three. To all the flame boys. Um, did you take a long rest or a short rest? I didn't take any rest. Because you use your goggles before. Yes, and they come back at the at every turn. No, that's a spent item. I believe. No. Oh. Spend item. Yeah. Eight. A spent item only comes back at the end of a long rest. 
I'm like, long rest. Oh. What is a long rest? I would use it all turn, so I'm not using it's still gone. Okay. Uh I get I get three more experience points for three enemies targeted. Attack is three and they will be immobilized if they get hit. So which three are you targeting? These three. Starting with this one. Okay. Okay. Minus one. So he's immobilized, but he doesn't take any damage. Because what is it? How many damage is three, it? Three, and their shield is two. Yeah. But next. he's immobilized. Okay, which we do next? This one. Immobilized, no damage. Immobilized, two damage. To which one? The This one. Oh, you're doing the three, three of them. That's all I can see. He doesn't really have line of sight on the... Gotcha. Okay. So, actually, that means that one's dead. Cause they... Oh, okay. And the other two flame guys are immobilized? Yes. Oh, good. The living bones can target two people. Yeah. They can't see me. <laughs> and they can't get through me, so... What is the... Which one of those? Two and one? I hope you all are having a wonderful Monday. We're playing... It's Green. Wednesday. Oh, gosh. That shows you how my week is going. Okay. Um, so Hello, having a wonderful Wednesday. What was your initiative? 19? 19. So now it is their turn. So next is going to be the Living Bones. They have negative two attack. Um, so they move first, right? Mm-hmm. None of them can move. None of them can move. Neg they just have... Uh, Okay. They have a plus zero to their attacks. And they have a heal, but that doesn't really matter for them. Um, so the only one that can hit you is the gold boy. Of course, the gold boy. But he only has an attack of two, so it's not that bad. It's only two? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what it is. It's one. Sweet. I so accept. That living boy, that's done. Now these are going to get shuffled back in. Uh, next is Flame Demon, which are the ones over there. Yep. Did you do the Gold Boy for you? Oh, no, you're right. Sorry. Shit. It was plus zero. Yeah. And they heal, but he doesn't take any damage. Plus zero, so I take two damage. Okay. No, I don't. Because shield one and that first one of this. So, no damage. Okay. Okay, so that's them. Now we have the Flame Boys that are going to go next. Flame Boys! So they are immobilized, so they can't move, but they do have range. This guy's at disadvantage. Yeah. So he's at so that one's at disadvantage, so this is for the, that guy there that's at disadvantage. Okay, plus zero. Negative one. So negative one. So their attacks uh, are already negative one, so it's negative three. So no damage. Flame Boys. So, no damage, and there's not a fire out there. Yeah. Um, it does give you a wound, though. What does a wound do? I forget. At the beginning of your turn, you take damage. Yeah, I don't know how you get rid of it. Wound is page 22. I'm not sure how you get rid of it. A wound. If a figure is wounded, it summons one point of damage at the start of each of its turns. If heal abilities are used on a wounded figure, the wound token is removed and the heal continues normally. If a figure is both poisoned and wounded, a heal ability would remove both conditions but have no other effect. So you take one damage at the start of your turn. Okay. So, but start my next turn, I would take one damage. Yes. It is just a flesh wound. Not a problem. Um, and then the other one is not at disadvantage. Correct. Plus one, but negative two to attack. So negative one. So negative one, they have a normal attack of two. So one point of one damage. One point of damage. That's not bad. And I'm already wounded, so I don't take another wound, right? I wouldn't think so. No, you can only be wounded once. It's, only, it's a condition of just one time. Right. Okay. It's a condition. Okay. Um, oh, wait, no. Hold on. You don't take anything. I don't take any damage because of... That's the last one of that. Uh, no, this. I'm going to use this shield. Okay. I'm going to leave that one out. Okay. So I still have one damage on this one. Cool. Uh, so that's those boys. Last is the Frost Demons because you're at 69, right? I am. Okay. So... <gasps> what? Kawaii by Kelly! 
thank Kawhi you so much Kelly. for the bitties. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the bits. They've been here before. They have. Hmm. Thank Doesn't you so mean, much for the bitties. I can't welcome them for stopping in to say hello. Please don't comment on how ignorant I am to who has been here before <laughs> and who hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I have a really weird like memory for names and so now screen we, names. So, are you in the great state of Hawaii? No, Kauai is a. It's Jap. Is it Japanese? Yes. I don't know. Uh, Frost. They have negative one to move, but they can't move anywhere. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> hey. Get out of here with that nonsense. <laughs> I'll show you cool um, stuff. All right. Oh, it's a thing? I it's thought a it... thing. So, they have negative one to their attack, so they're only going to be attacking you with two, but only one of them can attack you. The only one of them can attack you, so it's only going to be a maximum of two damage. Okay, less... I just... Plus two. So, okay. four damage. Okay, you're still up? Barely. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad everyone's here. Yeah. Well, we're happy to have you. We're glad that you stopped in. Wait, why do I keep doing that? I don't know. Okay, so it's my turn, yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to... Jump. <laughs> And I'm gonna target these two boys. Okay. Yes. Target them so the flame will come out. Okay. Um. So I get two automatically because it's just the for targeting. Okay. Them. So let's say Skelly Boy first. Okay. So it's three to him. Three damage to him. To the Skelly Boy. Skelly Boy. Uh, that's a yellow one, right? Mm hmm. It's uh, two. Number two takes And then damage. this one is the Frost Demon. Hey, 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 hey. Frost Demon's dead. Which, which one was that? Three. Yeah, number three is dead. Is whoever's gonna try and come through here is gonna take three damage. It's gonna take three damage. So I am going to do a short rest. It's still okay for the moment. I'm using my minor stamina potion. This could either go really great for me or really bad for me. We'll find out. Mine went really horribly for me, so because I now have a finite amount of cards. Gotcha. You need to reshuffle your... Oh, you are right. I do have to reshuffle. Because usually I can recover my lost cards. I cannot do that this time. Because okay. it just got discarded. Um. Wait. Oh, never, never mind. I thought that there was a way that I could... Mm -mm. Decide not to... You could not take damage. Yeah, you could have negated damage by discarding two cards. No, that's fine. No, I thought that there was something that, like, I could take it back for some reason. Oh, um... I don't remember what it is, though. Wait, did you... Did you do that? You drew it when you... No, not when you did a... Oh, yeah, you can discard two other cards to take one back. I can lose two other cards to, to take, take that back. back. Yeah. I'm actually going to do that.
use these two cards to take this one back. Steven, if you go after me, I will help you. If I go after you? If you go after me. Are you going pretty quick or not? I am going relatively quick. Hey, welcome quick. back, Elgot. Relatively quick? I'm going very quick. I mean, I I don't want you to say go slow. I don't want you to go slow. It's just I will help your attacks if you go after me. All right. I'm going to do... All right. I have two healing potions, so hopefully I can survive this. So, okay. Ready? Yes. Wait, them first. So, okay. Skelly Boys. Skelly Boys. I had to reshuffle these, so. 45. 45th. 78. Where were these at the beginning? 77. Excellent. 19. Ah, oh, damn, I could have gone the other way. It's fine. 54. We're glitching again. Hmm? We're glitching. And we're dropping frames 6.9%. I wonder why. Oh, that's awesome! I don't know. I don't, the only thing that's different is Derek's Kickstarter corner. I don't think that that would... What? Wait, who is your... Are you actually Johnson? Does Brian Foster watch our Twitch? No. I feel like... Wait. Is that part of the whole card? Did she change her name? I thought... Mm -mm. No? No, no, no. No. She would tell us. I feel like... I don't know. Alright. Yeah, we're struggling. Like, our... Our, C our CPU is actually up pretty high for... It's the 38... Hold on, let me try. I'm not sure what's going on. When are you going? Really early. All right, we'll flip it over. Flip oh, it's time to flip. I'm going seven. Oh. It's definitely Twitch, is what Mrs. Viali says. Bored and drunk. Okay, bored and drunk. Fuck. I was like, I, I'm like, that name sounds so familiar to me. I love bored and drunk. Yeah, if you guys haven't They're checked, so it, fun. Uh, can one of our uh, one of our mods put a caster command in for uh, board, and board and drunk? We've we've rated them a couple of so times. So fun! They're so they much always fun. dress up when they play the games. Oh, the, the costumes! I love it. It's so fun. Okay, so I'm going seven. I'm going fifty-four. So you were going first. I am going first. You're still going before all the monsters. Too, uh, except, except for the living bones. bones. Yep. Nice. All right, so I'm going to heal myself. Cool. Because that's super important. And the gold comes out. The sun comes out. The sun comes out. And then I'm going to do a ranged attack on Skelly Boy. The, the main gold guy. Skelly Boy. Okay. Um, and I do have something. I can't use the gold, but I'm going to use... You can use both the red and the blue. I think I can only use one at a time. I think you can only use one at a time. Is it? I think so. To the rules! Because I feel like it's all I do in this game is go to the rules. Page 24. A single icon cannot be used to consume more than one infusion. Gotcha, so, okay. No. So I'm gonna use, do any of you have these? Do any of the monsters have these? No, that just means it's going to come out. Yeah. Um, that one, though, does. That one uses it. But flame demons suffer one damage. So I want to keep that one out. So you want to use the so flame So I want to use the flame, yeah. Okay. So you're using the flame. Yeah, I'm going to use the flame. So that's going to be... Three damage is what it's going to be. Wait, which one's mine? This one's mine. Yeah, sorry. 
so three damage. Three damage to Skelly Boy, which I think kills him. Yeah, because he was already at three. Yeah. So number two is dead. Boom, boom, boom. Basically, Megan's rule corner. Is that the next jingle that we need? We'll play that again at the end just for... What are you... Are you done? I am finished, yes. So, Steven, you and I both get plus one attack to all of our attacks this round. Awesome. Uh, and I am doing my net shooter again. Oh, because it's adjacent. Nice. Uh, I'm doing just fine over here by myself, thank you. These three. I'm probably okay. going to need help, though, here soon. Oh, yeah, these guys aren't. <laughs> okay. So, which one are you doing first? I'm just going to go... Okay, so first flame boy... Does not hit at all, so, so he's not immobilized. But shuffle those all back in now. I thought it was at the end of my turn. No, you No, it's it. as soon as that one comes I up. I think it's as soon as... Hang on. Again. 32. 32. No attack one fire's draw. During a round. Yes, shuffle but in Norwegian discards. death metal? Shuffle all the discards of that deck back into the draw deck. Yeah, you would reshuffle it. Great. They want your uh, your jingle what? to be Norwegian death metal. Yeah, I can't do that. That hurts my throat thinking about it. So Der- Derek, you're gonna do Derek the vocals for that Derek has to do the vocals for that. But can it be Norwegian death metal done with a ukulele? Is that uh, a thing that can be? This flame boy. A thing? Uh, so he's a... Uh, because I think that would be Minus hilarious. Minus one, so it's just three, so he takes one damage. So okay. it's a plus one, it's three. Plus one is four. Minus one is back to three. <laughs> so it's three damage to so him. One damage <laughs> because <laughs> he's got two shield, right? Yep. Okay. And which number is that? That's two. Two. People are roaring in the ch- in the chat. It's time uh, for and the skirtaber. Three damage to the skelly boy. Four damage to the skelly boy. Four damage to the skelly boy. The and gold one. Okay. Four damage. To he has him. six, so he takes. So he says two left. <laughs> and he's immobilized. Well, they're both immobilized. Both they're, of them are immobilized. Yeah, the only Except one's him, not. he didn't get hit. Hmm. Two, three, four. So four, guy, four damage to the gold guy. I like this. this oh, wait, that's number one. Uh, and now it's up in the right thing. All right, so now it is. See, there we go. The living bones turn. So both living bones are gonna go. So they have a move. Oh, good, they're not ranged this of time. Of two. <laughs> so this guy's actually gonna go one, two. Can't get to you. Can't get to me. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, they neither one can move. So just the gold guy can attack me. What's the skelly boys? Oh no, it doesn't. I half expected to hear that the. the... So I take two damage. Probably. No, I take Mind one you. damage because I'm gonna use the last thing of yeah. this. Sure. So I take one damage. Saying, but... So I take one <laughs> damage. Is now and then sous-vide. yes, it is my turn. Yes. Right. Yes, I guess. So it is my turn, and using all my attacks for plus one. Plus correct. One. Yeah, we are dropping frames left and right. We haven't dropped eight point two percent in like forever. That has to be, you guys. That has to be on Twitch's end. What? Could, what? What? It, could it be uh, Streamlabs? I don't think so. Literally, the only thing that's different is that we had the Kickstarter corner, but that's Kickstarter not Kickstarter corner. But it wouldn't be. It shouldn't be dropping like that. Yeah. Yeah, we are showing that we're dropping frames, but I'm not sure exactly what's going on. So we're not exactly sure why we're dropping frames, because our CPU and our FPS really isn't that bad. Um, so I don't on, I'm understand. Gonna to, I'm going to close down a couple down. of extra things and... Mod squad up there. We have... Fun. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. So I closed down some more stuff. Hopefully that... You closed one thing. But it was nothing of Streamlabs, so hopefully that may help a little bit yeah. with our drop frame. So yeah. ah. I make no promises, but we'll try. All right, so it is my turn. 
Um, on my turn, I take a damage because of the wound. Try toggling low latency Well, that's for, that's for the viewers. Oh, okay. Um, so I take one damage. So I'm at seven damage. I'm going to use one of my healing potions to heal back to three. So I'm back up to ten. So I'm fine right now. I'm fully healed. Um, all right. So my attacks are plus one. Yes. Because I'm going to do this first. I have a move of four. And I do two attack to each enemy that I move through, and I have jump. Attack. What? Attack. So I can move four with the ability to jump. But you can only jump over one space, right? I don't think that... But you're moving through enemies, right? But I don't think you can move directly through them. You have to... Jump. A move X ability allows a character to move up to X number of hexes on the map. Figures, characters, and monsters can move through allies but cannot... Oh. Some move abilities are specified as a jump. Move X jump allows the character to ignore all figures and terrain effects during their movement. However, the last hex of a jump is still considered a normal movement, so must obey. You can jump all of them. So you have four as long as you're ending on a, on a open square space. that does not have them. Correct. Because I can do three damage to each one that I go through. So you could go like... One. Well, no, no. This is jump. One, two, three, four would affect all of them. He's jumping on each of those hexes. I actually could go one, two, three, four and land back where I am, right? Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So the three people that I attack, you are thank now attacking. Thank you, Cool Wide by Kelly. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yes, thank that you. Was fun. We'll stop by and see you guys again soon. Yes. Um. All right, so I do I have to do this on this kind of attack too? Yes. Yeah, for each one of these. Oh, yes, uh -huh. it's an attack. So right now they're each at three. Right now I get Wait, two victory your, points. That's not sure. your deck. That's the monster deck. You're right. That is the monster deck. I get two victory point or two experience. I've missed other experience. I know I have. Hey, Jester Sack. Uh, the uh, Gloomhaven? Gloomhaven. I am. This is just me. Overwhelmed. Fenced. Right. I'm on the fence. I enjoy it. I think that I think it's overwhelming because we have a very small table we're trying to do this on. And I think if we had a bigger table where we could have things laid out better, I yeah. it would be a little bit easier. That doesn't bother me. Um, I think the, the, the biggest problem that I have with it so far is that um, this is our fourth time playing it, right? Yes. yes. And we're still consistently going back to the rules. Every single turn we're looking at the rules. So... I feel like once we get the basic rules like really under our belt and understand it, um, we'll have a little bit easier of a time, and I think that we'll all enjoy it a little more. The drop frames went up to 9.3%. Uh, I Chester, don't know there's, so, uh, there's something going on with Twitch's side uh, that for some reason it's being kind of twitchy. All right, so I'm going to start. I'm going to go one, two, three. So first one is plus two. Nice. So that's three damage to that one, so he's dead. That was this guy. Wait. It would have been four damage, but... What? No, it actually would be five damage, but he has two shield. Oh. Because I gave him plus one. It's two on the card, um, plus my one, plus that two is five, minus the shield is three. I'm with you, I'm with so you, I'm with you. He's dead. So now we're doing two. Now we're doing number two. Plus one. So two damage. So two damage, so it's dead too. Which, that's actually all the flame guys, so they don't even get to attack this turn. And that guy goes it's away. It's just us, though, so it's uh, it's something on our end. Huh. It's not a Twitch thing. Alright, um, I mean, I'll try to check it out after the stream, see if I figure out what's going on, because we haven't had that issue in forever. No, we haven't had that issue in a really long time, so I don't know what it would be. I mean, I have some thoughts, but... Yeah. All right, um, and then last thing is for the Skelly Boy, plus zero, but that's fine because it's still three damage to him, and he already had four damage, so that guy's dead. You know what would be really nice right now? My mm -hmm. move six card. Um, 
And so... I think it's the twist, Twitch Ingest server. New York has been bad. Ah. Maybe. Also, hi, Cedriel. Yes, thank you for stopping in. Um, I don't really know what that in a really, really long time. All right, so I did that with this, which means I have to do this one. This guy gets discarded completely. Um, I can't do that one, so I kind of just stay where I am. So I'm going to take a short rest. Wait, the frost demons have to go. Oh, star, you're right. So they have a move of negative one. Hmm. So their move is two. Oh, I'm sorry, their move is one. So they literally just go like this. And collect that coin. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they collect the coins. They don't collect the coins. Uh, Megan, choose one of these for me to lose. I hope it isn't a good one. Yeah. Okay, well, that's not bad. I mean, could be nice for looting, but it's fine. Sorry. It's all right. All right. I am going really late in the game. Which one of these is mine? This Just is mine. Just FYI. You have, you're going to be going really late? Yes. Okay. Um, we'll have to look into that. Yeah, because our drop frames just keep going up. So the Frost guys haven't taken any real damage. Um, oh, so we're back in podcast mode. Cool. This takes us back. Now let us know if the refreshing helps. It's all right. We'll get it figured out. Like we said, we have some really big storms coming through, so it may have something to do with that. We've got dropped frames again. Yeah. It's the first time that alerts come up, though. That is the first time an alert has come up. That's so weird. Huh. What is error 2000? I, that has to be an, that has to be an internet issue on our. It's probably on our end. So. Miss Valley says she refreshed and it's all better. Okay. Well, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. We'll we'll try and figure this out at the end. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag throwback. No kidding. All right. Um, Derek, what are you planning on doing on your turn? We probably should start heading over and helping her. Sometimes this happens. I mean, internet is internet. Um, so. I mean, the living bones only have a movement of two. Yeah. So. I'm gonna go get the chest. So you're going to go be Luke Goblin. But my movement isn't going to help me get over there to attack. It's going to take me two turns to get over there to attack. And by that time, they'll be in the tra in the traps. I'm actually pretty safe over there because of the traps. Well, yeah, well, yeah kind of. Because both of these guys, both, everything left over here, all, all of them have five hit points. Traps are only going to do... Three damage. Three damage to two of them. I'm trying to right. maximize the gameplay. And I have one that will be able to target all three of them. Not this round, but eventually. Okay, so... And I'll be able... I'll actually, honestly, I'll, I'm gonna run in probably after this round and get the chest. So you guys want to try and get the chest? I would like to try and get the chest, but that's because I have reasons. Okay, But I Fine. also want to get then these guys taken long care of first. Like, no, we can't, because we kill them no, we, we kill them, we, we finish can, that round. We, we can continue the to round. that round. The round that we kill them in. Uh, do not attack him. Just leave that one skelly alive? I will kill him. Eventually. When I'm done. <laughs> Until then, I can keep him at bay. Okay. All right. All but right. yes, I'm going very... Well, a good distributor for the content rules we read is you know how to want to beat the game. The hardest guns we have to learn the boss mechanics and custom <laughs> yeah. Huh. Accurate though. We did that. We did that with Betrayal Legacy. We played the game wrong for the first two sessions, three sessions, 
<sighs> there was like things here and there that we did wrong, but this one we're trying really hard to if we ha if we question it, we check. All right. Well, um, and the rule book is laid out pretty well, so you're able to find things fairly quickly. So that helps. So am I just not attacking, guys? Mm, you I don't go know. Help Do you want to come help me? Yeah, I mean, I can. It's up to you. I don't have to go get the, the chest. Well, you said you need to do it for your... I need to do it for reasons. All right. Then you do that. I will help. But I'm, I'm also going to do something to them on this round. Some of them. So. I mean, I can't get to them is the issue. No worries. Don't worry about it. Just if you want it, if you want to help me, come on over. Sadriel, thank you so much for the two hundred bits. Yeah, thank Thanks you for the pride support. Of course, of course. course. We are an open and welcome community. We will always support. You have. There is enough negativity in the world. Not liking somebody because of who they love, how they identify, is it's asinine. Not worth it. So. So happy Pride Month. Yes. Tell Paul I said hi if he's still around here and there. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we haven't seen Paul in a little bit, but I he's still... He, he messaged me every once in a while. One second. I know, I always get, like, memes or videos over Facebook Messenger. It's great. <laughs> Wait, was I one of the ones... Oh, no, because my phone is stopped. Mike keeps saying we're go, going offline. All right, um, I'm just going to do this. I'm sorry. All right. I'm um, really excited about my pride emotes. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, we have we not. We just opened this game, so we don't have any expansions. Actually, so I'm going to do this this I want to get... I would actually like to get the expansion and the... Um, Broken Token Organizer for this game at Gen Con. Because the Organizer makes this game The Organizer is really super nice. nice. Based on my current feelings for the game, I have no intention of spending money on this game at Gen Con. I'm buying me. I'm just... The Organizer. From me personally, there's no excite. That's fine. Alright. Um, I'm ready. You guys ready? Monsters. So... 74. Big Spooky. Hello, oh, Miss Spooky. No. That. No. I am an indecisive person. <laughs> 74 and 78, so they're yeah, going really late. Nine, 20. 64. 70. I intentionally try to go late, and it doesn't matter. Okay, well, I'll go first. You still get... Did you intentionally go late, or... No, I, I, this is one, all I have left. Two, three, four, and I'm putting a... Uh, trap here. A trap there? Yeah. I mean, there should just... I don't know where the ones went that disappeared, but... Oh, I don't know where they do them either. There. There's a trap. <laughs> That's not a trap. Just... That represents a trap. It represents a trap. Okay. And anything okay. else that you're doing? I moved four. I set my trap. Okay. I'm actually not going to be able to... Uh, I'm 64, so I guess I go next. Yep. So, I'm going to I'm move three. And get this gold. Okay. Is that it? Good. Uh... Yeah, and I'm retaliating. I, I could possibly do retaliation, but. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to recover all my lost cards. And then I'm just going to move one hey, Captain Rebier. to here and take that coin. So I now have all of my cards. That goes oh. there. So I guess, the, I guess the expansion has better wording for the, the rule book. Update. Gotcha. Cool. Alright, so you should step back. Uh, yes, I just stepped back one so I could get right. that point. I can so still we, get where I need to get to. We've all gone. Now it's their turn. Their turn. So 
The Living Bones is going to move first. It has a plus zero to its movement. So their base movement is two. So it's going to go there, get hit by that trap, and take three damage. Fortunately, now that I think about it... So that is number five on the Living Bones. Takes three damage. Oh, no, one of them still will. Cool. I think. How, uh, how far do they can they move? Two, so he's going to move off of it. No, I mean the Frost Demons. Uh, frost Demons have a movement of mm-hmm. two. So they only are going to move one this. Yes. Okay. That's fine. So then he's going to move off of it. This goes away. He's going to come to me, though. He's going to go Oh, there. yeah, you're right. Sorry. That's fine. Uh, and then he's going to attack you. Yeah. So their attack... Um, plus zero. Plus zero. Uh, so one. They have an attack of one. Minus one. No damage. I have lucked out with these, these yeah, guys. Yeah, you have. Um, Alright, and then this guy, he's also going to move two towards me. No, I'm closer to him. Are you? Yeah. Yes. One, two, three, four. four. One, two, three, four. We're the same distance. One, two, three, four. But I go early. I'm yep, earlier right. than you. So he's gonna try. He's gonna actually get your trap. Three damage. Two points. Three damage. And uh, which one is that? Skeleton number nine or nine? No, oh, six is gonna be. Okay, so that's them. What's its health? Hmm. What's its health? They're both five. Oh. Um, and now it is the frost demons who have a movement of one. So, one, and can't move. That one's stuck. So. That's why it's stuck. Okay. Um, so it takes three damage. Does it? Does the trap? Once it's sprung, does it go away? Yeah, the trap goes away. There you go. All right. I already have mine. I am heading for the. Chest? Thing, chest this round, but I'm also doing damage. Okay. Um, I'm going to start doing damage to these guys because the Frost Demons, we still have 10 damage we need to do. So. Yeah, I'm super... Like I, I looked at the organizer, and it is... We have the organizer for um, Terraforming Mars, and it is one of my favorite things. <laughs> um, so I wanted to go back to them for some other, other organizers. Uh, and this one just looked just too nice to not to not get it. <laughs> There's a mouse on the table. I'm going to take a There short is a mouse on the table. Rest. Oh. <laughs> that would have been nice to have, but okay. Okay. Sometimes there's a cat She's currently in the bathroom, I think. Yeah. We'll go get her before the we in the stream. And we're dropping frames again. If you guys can still hear us, we're we're showing right now. We're trying. All right. Let's just keep playing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I put my two down. Where did I put them? I don't know. Where did you put them? Just to remind. I'm going late, though, unfortunately. No, that's the ones I just... Are they right here? Yes. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Enemies. Enemies. Twelve. Fifty-eight. Oh, great. And they're ranged. This round, yes. Cool. Cool. So. Cool, cool. I'm going to need help. 69. Uh, 60. 54. 54. So I Living go. Bones are first. Yep. Living Bones are first. So Living Bones is going to <laughs> shield heal one, two. Heal two. You said he's going to heal two, which kind of sucks. Yeah, that. Um, and then first one is going to attack Megan. They don't have an attack. What? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They still have an attack. No. No, they heal. If it's not listed here, they don't do it. Yeah. 
Oh, I thought they still got their, their whole turn. They're healing no. on this turn. If they if they if it is not listed on this card, they do not do it. It's the same thing as our. This is the same thing as ours. So far, they've all had attacks. They've just been plus zeros. Okay. Got away from that. That was something. There was somebody. Somebody in the chat maybe last time or I read somewhere somebody was talking about how um, that oh it was yeah, it doesn't matter but it does they don't attack unless the attack is actually listed on okay. the card uh, so Derek 